Hi, Dan Gard back again. And um, we're gonna work on Juicy Lucy right now. It's a big caddis. Uh, when I first started tying it, people didn't think that it would catch any fish. So um, while they were using size 18s, I'm using this size 12 caddis fly tied on a model 700 Dyricky hook. Uh, you can't get Dyrickies hardly anymore unless you find, find them in a back, some back town. Uh, so anything that equivalates to a 4X long hook, it's what I prefer anyway. So next piece to the puzzle is Danville's 200 uh, yard uh, black six. Red wire, extra small or small, and elk hair, and the dubbing will be this dubbing enhancer. And you just have to kind of look around. You can find it in Olive. Uh, Yellowstone Fly Goods used to uh, sell it years ago. Uh, and, but I haven't seen it for quite a while. Uh, if you use it, any of this to enhance your rabbit hair with for nymphs or anything, uh, don't uh, grind it into dust because I've done that. So we're going to use our black 6-0. Start off. Oh, we'll also need brown hackle. Any dry fly ha brown hackle will work. You could probably get away with uh, using grizzly as well. This is about the size of a hackle for this size 12 fly. We're going to use the red wire to back wire the hackle on. Keeps that fish tooth, odd fish tooth from breaking. Tie in a little piece of this. This is going to be a shuck. Tie in right at the hook bend. And line up a little bit. Next. We're going to run our dubbing, or next is the wire. Now the dubbing loop. I do that tool. Put a little bit in here and run it up. Okay. Don't need to stick a lot in here because with this loop, it's really going to load it up. Kind of break it up a little bit. This stuff is really crinkly. I use this pattern as a searching pattern. Uh, if you can, it'll it will support. A nymph, no problem. Probably even a tungsten nymph. Twist her up. Uh, 
That'll give us a nice tapered body. It'll, it'll taper with that advent of that hackle and wire. Pull some of the excess off. Work it back. That's where I trim this bad boy off a little bit. Okay, we're going to tie in the hackle. And we're back wrapping this. You don't want to lose an expensive fly because they're not cheap to a fish tooth. Now you want to take this, uh, it doesn't matter cow elk or bull elk with, just the elk just has a nice floating capability to it. It's a little stiffer than the deer hair. Stack her up. Tie it in just where the black tips are just beyond the bend of the hook. And gradually tighten down on it. Bring it forward, your thread forward to under the hair. You're locking it in now. And you just finish the lock in by going up through what you're going to clip off. But finish it. Now, you clip this off, you want to kind of go at the same angle as the eye of the hook. And then just clean it up a little bit. And that's Juicy Lucy.
adds a real nice sparkle while it's on the water. It doesn't matter whether it's bright or dark. Um, I've actually doubled on this thing. So, uh, delete it.